Good morning. Welcome to your daily dose of God time. Here we are just going through some of the best devotionals out there to help you get your day started right today in Rick Warren's Daily Hope. Um, I, I want to talk to you on the subject of why just a little more will never be enough. God is far more interested in your character than your comfort. He wants you to grow up and be more like Jesus. His focus is on your attitude, not making life easy. He's watching to see if you think having more will make you happier, or if you've learned yet how to be content with what he's provided you. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 6, 6 and 7, godliness with contentment is great gain. For we brought nothing into the world, and we take nothing out of it. When you learn to be content, you're believing that God knows what you need better than you do and trusting that he'll give you the necessary wisdom to make good financial decisions. Most people get caught into when thinking. You say, what do you mean? Okay, when I get this, then I'll be happy. When you get a certain job, when you retire, when you get the house paid off, when all the bills are paid, and on and on and on. But God knows that if you aren't already content, You'll always want something else when you get there. Somebody supposedly once asked billionaire Howard Hughes how much more it takes to be happy, and he said, just a little more. You can spend your entire life focused on money, trying to make it, earn it, save it, spend it, use it. So God uses finances many times as the acid test of how much you trust him. When you have a need, he wants you to ask and learn to be content so that your happiness doesn't depend on how much or how little you've got. Contentment isn't something that comes naturally for anyone. It's something you have to practice every day. You have to remind yourself that God is taking care of you, and he's going to provide for everything you need. You have to choose to love and appreciate what you already have. If you don't learn contentment, you'll always want more. And if you always want more, you'll always be dissatisfied. And if you're always dissatisfied, before long, you're going to become bitter. And if you become bitter, I promise you, loneliness is right around the corner. You have to choose to love and appreciate what you already have. That is a choice. You can watch TV and see what somebody else has and be dissatisfied with how little you have in your mind. While at the same time, somebody else further down the ladder might be looking at you, thinking about how much you have, and they thought, man, if I could just have what they have, then I would be happy. The problem is both of you are discontent. If you don't want learn contentment, you'll always want more. But once you learn to be content, you'll find a greater joy than anything on earth could provide. So what's something you're working for that you think will make you happier? Some of my friends right now are talking about retirement. They think that once they get to retire, no, you'll probably just be discontent with more time on your hands. So here's the question. Where does your joy come from? Where does your joy come from? What is it that causes you to feel fulfilled? And what's one practical way you can focus more on contentment each day? Let me help you. One of those you're doing right now. Instead of focusing on your God first thing, I mean, focusing on yourself first thing. Focus on your God. Your God, your Jesus, has the best for you. He says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you, not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So instead of focusing on the man in the mirror, focus on him. And ask him to make you more like his son, Jesus Christ. You say, but my situation's bad. Well, the Bible says, and we know all things work together for the good of those who love him and who are called according to his purpose. And you say, yeah, but what good do they work for? The very one that you should be praying for. For those he foreknew, he also predestined. They should be conformed to the image of his son. He wants to mold you into the image of Jesus. Who was the image of perfect joy, even whenever earthly wise, he didn't have much. I'm praying for you today. I'm praying that you'll learn that godliness with contentment is great gain. 
That word gain there means to make a profit. Godliness with contentment, that's where the real profit is. Let me pray for you, Father. Thank you so much for my friends this morning. I love them, Father. I want them to be content. I want them to be filled with joy. Your son says, uh, my peace I give you, my joy I leave with you. Father, may they have it. May they have it, Father, because they desire you more than they desire things. Father, thank you that having things isn't a sin, but when things have you, it sure is. So, Father, help us to use things in order to love people, not use people in order to have things. Would you now help us to go throughout this day focused on you, enjoy, not pining for the next thing. In Jesus' name, amen. I pray you have an incredible day. Love God. Love one another. Now go be salt and light.